Hey there, welcome to another video. Um, I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, but now is I think the time to show you, but this is an important API for Remix app developers in the Shopify community. If you know this documentation well, uh, it will make your life a lot easy. And let me show you how it works. If you come to the Shopify API app, um, Shopify app Remix and the version two, you will see a lot of good examples here, including billing API. I will move myself around. So you can start from the quick start and learn the basic of how everything works here, around here. But I will go directly to the API and this is where you will spend most of your time when you are building your app. Of course, these are the basic of backend setup, um, header like responses on header and um, error handling. But the API is where is more important. If you come to the admin API, it will give you an example of how you will send um, different types of requests. For example, REST, it has example for REST API, it has example for GraphQL API. In the last video, we learned how we can um, use GraphQL in our Remix, but this is exactly how you will use it. So in your app, Shopify will provide you this uh, API, for example. Uh, if you have an action and you want to read some data from database, we learned about action in the previous video, and uh, this is how you do it. You are going to use the authenticate admin, again, about this one you can read um, under the authentication, how you will import authentication, we will discuss more about this in the future video for billing, but for now you can import admin. Admin is basically the admin for a store, and when a user login to your app, they are the admin and they are the one who will do anything um, on the app, on the app dashboard, for example. Um, they can send a GraphQL request using admin.graphql. This is how you can um, run anything. For example, if you want to um, use the mutation to populate some product, this is how you do admin.graphql and you will put the GraphQL uh, uh, word in here with the hash and then you will write your mutation. Mutation in GraphQL, there is like two, two things that you have to know about GraphQL. One is query, one is mutation. Query is where you read the data. Mutation is when you update or um, modify something or you create something. So this mutation is going to create a product. And this is how you will pass the variable. These are some like basic examples that did give you, but see how easy it is to interact with the admin API. If you have the scope for order, you can modify the order. If you have the scope for a customer, you can easily use GraphQL to change the data for the customer. So you can see it is really easy. Just use admin.graphql, pass your GraphQL API with all the titles, and then you will have the, the response. Once you have the response, you can um, await for the JSON and then return it in the action. That is basically how you will use it. In the same way, you have access to the storefront API. If you come here, a storefront is basically uh, whatever you have in the store here. And also the checkout. In the checkout also you have the storefront API, which we might talk in the future videos, but not in this series of building a checkout extension. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel to stay updated for that. This is probably the only time I said subscribe to the channel in the whole video, but yeah. Cool, cool. Let's go on. Uh, if you want to read some block, you just use storefront, GraphQL, block, and read 10 of them, and it's going to give you the idea of that. See how easy it is to um, use Remix and read those data. I think that's, that's all you need to know, you know? Um, then billing. Billing is one of the things that a lot of people think, oh, this is so difficult to handle. But Shopify handle the most part of the billing. Um, all you have to do is, just come here, learn the API and use this. In the next video, we'll learn how we can use billing, but basically this is the basic of it, okay? I'm just going to show you the basic of it. If your app requires billing on load, for example, someone install your app and you directly send them to the billing, this is what you do. You will just come to your app uh, router, um, any file, let's say welcome index.php or pricing that, not PHP, the JSX, you will just put this code here and use the authenticate uh, it will just give you the billing and you can use billing require monthly test this true or false on production this should be false and on failure it is going to send you again the monthly plan so you will subscribe to 
the monthly plan this is what you will do in the next video we will learn how we will do it but you see how easy it is Shopify provides you the billing API um, the reason for this is because Shopify have a GraphQL API also for billing um, for any other app if you're using uh, PHP if you are using Python you have to handle all the billing part yourself if user is subscribed or not check everything and send GraphQL request uh, handle the response and everything but here you have a very nice JavaScript API uh, for Node.js so see how easy it is I highly recommend you to read this documentation for the Remix app if you are building an app because it will help you a lot of interacting with the app bridge uh, if you come to the app provider and a lot more like you you will learn a lot uh, from this documentation um, to build your app so yeah I thought this is very important to know thank you for watching I will see you in the next video